Together, we're going to create an experience. This talk, the Venn Diagram of Belonging, will explore our humanity through our three bodies, circles. So while you're sitting here tonight, let's, let this experience wash over you. Let those thoughts rise and fall. Let your body settle into what we're about to experience together. As we begin life, three bodies, circles, are aligned. We sense the world, our mother's touch, our father's voice, the taste of rice cereal. Through these senses, we begin to distinguish the infinite distinctions of our world. Our self pulls away as we begin to create an I. The I from the toddler. I do it. Those first distinctions start creating the patterns, those fundamental patterns of our belonging. So she's had enough of the unfair speed, <laughs> the unfair treatment of her siblings. She takes her green and white polka dot bag and she stomps down the stairs. She has no idea where she's going. She's just out of there. Belonging starts here. We take our belonging, our understanding of belonging into our teen years, and those fundamental understandings begin to create language structures, or currency is what I'll be calling it. This currency we exchange in the world, how we exchange our wants and needs in our fundamentalness with each other, and we begin to build our world. So she steps out at midnight to see that boy she likes, and she believes that he is where she belongs because that's what he tells her. She belongs with him. The passion to belong lives here. There's a brief moment as we come up next where the three circles once again come together. But now, now we're creating infinite distinctions of the mind. We begin to believe things based on what it is we're thinking. Our thoughts become our experience. And this experience, it begins to fill feverishly. Oh my goodness, we think, we think so much. The belonging starts to drift because it's all about what we're thinking. So she's gotten into college, this wild child. She's found her place in the sun. She's taking all the classes. She's just crushing it as we've heard tonight, right? She's competing with everyone and everything, including herself. These circles, they keep going. They keep telling us, they keep telling us that we need more, that we have to get more. Our mind is creating these infinite distinctions of things we don't even know. These things that we want to achieve, money, status, access, it all comes from this place of wanting. Those are the constructions that the mind builds. We begin to believe this is what we are. We believe our mind. And Western humans, most of us, stop here. Cue heartbreak. This anger, it's righteous, and she demands her ability to express it. But she wants to be in environments. She loves other people. She's beginning to explore that 
you are me and I am you because I am angry and you're angry too. We're going to be this together. So she goes out and she starts building communities and building ways of being together. This belonging is now being filled with experiences of togetherness. We are in this together. We are the ones we've been waiting for. These circles of belonging appear to be different because these infinite distinctions are now assigned to the meanings or the thinking that we have about our beliefs and our feelings. We believe what we feel because we think what we feel. And it starts to get a little more complex. We start developing structures to even deepen our ability to see and belong. This awareness starts to build. This awareness of this exchange. So I am you and you are me. And then she walks out of a meeting and she has a pause and she's, she's thinking about that pause. She's going over who said what, what the tone was, how was it exactly? How did it go? What was paying attention? She's using these distinctions to explore how it is that she is separate, or in this case, not separate. She's beginning to see how I am you and you are me through my ability, her ability, our ability to be who we are together this infinite exchange, the awareness that comes with that. So as we begin to explore that level of awareness, we begin to understand not just projection, but introjection, beliefs, structures that build how we are in the world. And these structures, they expand. They expand so far. Because now it's not just me, it's not just you, it's all of us. We are all in this together, this awareness. We understand what we're building here together. Not just the we, but the actual you and me, and how we are together. So let's take a moment and settle ourselves. Feel, feel your feet on the ground. Feel how the chair is holding you. Feel your breath going in and out. And feel this awareness rising in you. Allow this awareness to fill your thoughts, to fill your experience. And because you can feel your feet and your own beating heart, extend your awareness to the person sitting next to you. Recognize that all of us are here together and this awareness extends beyond just your body and beyond their body. And that we all belong here together simply because we're here. And this belonging, it brings us to the deepest sense of intimacy we have ever known. This belonging brings us to an awareness of wholeness. This wholeness brings us together. And there's this. We are in this together. This is belonging.